Okay, how's it going? It's a rainy day here in Florence, Oregon. I have been here once before. I was here two, uh, three or two or three days last summer. I camped out right on the street. It was super chill <laughs> and I really enjoyed being here. And so when I saw that I was passing through, decided to stop. It's a really pretty spot here in the marina. Uh, just to show you what the world is like out here, if you're wondering. Uh, I see this pretty much everywhere I go. Um, streets are empty. This is a bustling, really popular tourist town. Even I would think like on a Saturday like today, people would have been out getting brunch and hanging out and walking around all the shops that are here and it's literally dead. Uh, which is really one of the hardest parts for me out here is the lack of normal. It feels like I'm living in a real live sci-fi movie. And I think about how much worse can this get? Is this the beginning of like Walking Dead? Is everyone gonna turn into a zombie? I know you're not gonna be zombies, but it'd be kind of fun if it became zombies. Only some people. Um, yeah, like the sheer loneliness and isolation, it's insane. Uh, so I thought I'd stop in here. I'm driving up the one I've made the decision to get the boogie out and get to a place where I can park long term. Somebody definitely lives in this thing. For show, sure. show sure, somebody lives in this. I definitely am seeing other van lifey people around. Um, in all sorts of places and route uh, parks and places where I normally can boondock are how pretty the marina is are, are all closed so I've been kind of just stealth camping where I can um, this is the marina here which is normally bustling with activity fishermen and um, you know people dining and hanging out and that's like not happening right now so it's completely dead. I've seen maybe two or three cars drive by total. And I'm just working my way up the one to get to my friend's place. I am, how am I feeling? I had a 45 minute conversation with my dog today. Literally a conversation with the dog. Um, and what else? Feeling a bit nutty, kind of losing it a little bit uh ready for this to be over but i don't think it's gonna be over for a while which is super scary and uh i don't know i'm just really grateful for my rig super duper grateful that i have a house on wheels i don't regret my decision to live this way someone's asked me a couple times do you regret it I'm like no so i haven't come really in contact with human life and some time except for going grocery shopping which has become uh, something I don't do too often because I don't want to be near people because I don't want to get sick or get sick, get sick again or I don't know the whole thing's so weird so Florence Oregon I was really excited to see this shop again I got one of my favorite crystals that I had uh, from this shop but they're closed so not that I thought it would be open, just, you know, I just, nice memory. So I camped on this very street last time that I was here. This is where I camped. I actually camped where that blue car is. I parked there for like two days, <laughs> you know, with some moving around, but not a lot. Totally no big deal. So I'm gonna get back on the road here. I don't really have anything else to do um, that's in this town. There was a delicious brunch place that's, um, up up there. I don't know if they're doing takeout, but if they are, I'm probably going to get some pancakes because, oh my God, their pancakes are boss. Okay, well, that's my check-in. Still alive. Scoob. He's still alive too. Hang in there, peeps. <laughs>